Hi, my name is Christina Gutierrez. I'm an English teacher, and today I'll be discussing with you test-taking strategies and activities you can do for that for kids. Some of the things that you can do with students besides giving them a handful of worksheets for test-taking strategies is to get them active. And one of the most helpful things that I've seen in the classroom is when students get together and form groups. So one of the group activities that I've had students do is the before, during, after activity. Not the most clever name, but it works. When they are uh, preparing for test taking strategies, a lot of them will want to share what they do personally before an exam, during an exam, and after. So what you can have them do is get together, have flip, you, you will need some flip charts prepared for each of these groups. Divide them into groups and then assign them a topic. So one group can be discussing what are some tips that you can do before an exam? What do you, um, what, how much sleep do you want to get? How much, what type of food do you want to have? Uh, what are the things you want to do as soon as before you walk into the door? What can, the other group can discuss what they must do while they're taking it, what they should be reading carefully, what they can eliminate, and then at the end of an exam, how they should go back and review. Have them brainstorm this, prepare it on a flip chart, and then present it to the class. It's a pretty uh, fail-safe way to get students more active. Another thing that you can do with the kids if you're doing any kind of test-taking strategy is where they can take ownership have them be the teacher. You're going to need to provide them at least a, a, a sheet or a worksheet of common strategies in a test taking. Then have the students, you can assign one or have them pick one, one strategy to go up and do a mini lesson about. Uh, when they're the teacher of the classroom, they feel a little bit more invested in the assignment and it's going to stick with them a little bit longer. So perhaps the strategy is to uh, eliminate the wrong answers first. They have to go up to the class, prepare a mini lesson, 10 minutes, that says what you should do when you are trying to eliminate answers. What's the, what's the easiest recourse for them? Third thing is to do um, the three things activity where it's still a group and you assign them three strategies where they, as a group, will have to prepare a presentation to the class about three specific strategies that have either worked for them or not worked for them and they can also add their own strategies into this particular part of the um, presentation. Once again, a group activity is just a great way to solidify the knowledge of those test taking strategies. Finally, uh, an, an often overlooked one is to invite a speaker. A guest speaker will give their insight into what is important in a test. Now a lot of times you can invite somebody as simple as a nutritionist, someone to tell them what foods that they should eat. Should they have um, some good hearty vegetables and fruits beforehand? Probably. Should they have a whole bunch of donuts right before they you know, go to school? Probably not. It's going to make them feel sick. So uh, you know, see, these are some basic things that help you know, solidify what um, test taking strategies they should take over just worksheet after worksheet after worksheet. Those, although those you know, are pretty good too. Once again, those were Test Taking Strategies Activities for Kids. My name is Christina Gutierrez-Brewster.